So do you think your your how do I put this? Your thoughts. Do you think you have or you should so I had this little battle in my head when I was younger and kind of the, the staunch atheist grumpy person. I had this kind of you can think whatever you want to think, your thoughts are in your own head, right? So you can you can think something fucked up, you can think something rude, whatever. And then the religious people have the uh, certain religions, they have this like kind of you should feel guilty about certain thoughts. Um, and I used to think that was ridiculous. It's like, you know, your, your head is your own sanctuary. Why would you be told you can or can't think of something in here? Um, but kind of as I've got older, I thought maybe there's something to that in terms of you should be regulating your thoughts even and be like, no, I'm not happy to think about that or think about it that way. So I disagree. I maybe it's because I am still in sort of the era of you know free thought and whatever, but but I feel like I mean almost slightly relaying on the point that we've just talked about. I feel like the last thing that we have almost the last garrison that we have of something that is sacred and personal to ourselves is mm-hmm. freedom of thought, right? Like we are surveyed, if we take London, for instance, it's, it's not silly to say that you can't walk anywhere without being caught on a CCTV camera. It's, yeah. it's very difficult for us to go anywhere without being traced in some fashion. So without going all 1984 about this, I, I feel like your ability to express the deepest, darkest, most wretched thoughts in your mind, you shouldn't have any control over, or shouldn't be controlled over. And I'll, 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 I'll back that up with a, with a question. If you controlled what you are thinking, and you put some things on the banned list and some things on the good list, mm-hmm. how would you determine if something is truly good? Oh well, <laughs> that becomes like the the moral argument again. But uh, the, my 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 broader point about the thoughts was I was completely where you are. Like I'm like this is my the inside of my head is freedom. Like I should be able to think whatever I want. But so they they did that experiment, the kind of the famous one where they they got two teams of basketball players to practice three throws, right? One thinks about it and the other does the physical action, right? And the people that just effectively thought about it in their heads improved dramatically right? mm-hmm. just by running the thought pattern. And there's this theory that your, your brain struggles to tell the difference between your thoughts and the actual reality you're living, right? So like the, the physically it's sending the signals to your muscles even, right? They're not physically moving, but um, so let's say I see a hot woman and in my head, I'm thinking I'd like to fuck her, right? <laughs> I'd like to bend her over and pull her hair and do whatever, right? I got this like awesome scenario going in my head and it's making my bus journey way more fun, right? Sure. Now, <laughs> my, my brain can't, is effectively, if, the, if this, this is true, is not really seeing the difference between the fantasy and the reality, right? There's obviously a big difference, but like not seeing the difference. Now, what I'm saying to my brain is, it's actually okay, right, to run this through. And then I think maybe you're then more likely to do it in reality. Whereas I might go, oh, I see the hot woman. I'm like, oh, I wonder what it would be like to fuck her and go, I don't want to think about that. What's going on at the window? And do that instead. And not, and like, stop that routine running in my head because I'm worried about the long term effects of running it. You wouldn't be able to make that moral obligated. Ob- obligatory decision if you didn't have the thought in the first place mm. yeah that's true yeah so if you're just saying i'm going to, you know i understand this is a, a very specific and explicit thought that we're, <laughs> that we're playing with but oh it all like hurt someone right hit them or something i don't know oh, <laughs> but, but still like th- the point still stands right if you weren't able to have that initial thought you wouldn't have the counter conversation in order to determine that that is either correct to your moral set of of rules or incorrect to that moral set of rules which is where i kind of think that 
all thoughts should be freedom. However, I think it's probably really important at the moment that we sort of, what you've touched on and what I've assumed, however, it's not been explicitly said is that there is an overarching controller to your thoughts. And that's what, I don't know what you determine that to be. However, I determine that to be something like morality, right? Yeah. And that's what I determine myself to be. Jesus, that sounds a bit fucking arrogant. Doesn't it? <laughs> Jesus, I Yourself am morality. Is the moral, yeah. <laughs> I am morality, lads. Oh, you're the you're the observer, right? Right. I am. I'm. I'm. All right. Let me make this a little bit more, you know, self-denigrating. I'm the fat controller in the Thomas <laughs> yeah. Tank Engine episode, right? 